Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome up onto the stage, Miss Jennifer Murray. Ah, here she is. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Brilliant. Have you been enjoying the films? Yes, really good. It's a few I really, really like, yeah. Wonderful. Have you been to many festivals like this before? No, this is the first one I've actually been to. Brilliant. Excellent. Very good. So, the lion's share. Um, how did you come by the story and what inspired you within this particular one? Um, basically, it was part of a uh, university assignment. Mm -hmm. the, old, the old idea is that we're supposed to choose one of Aesop's fables and then do a, basically do whatever we want based on that. Yeah. And we, I basically told everyone to sort of come back the next day with um, as many ideas as we can, and sort of throw them together. And um, we pretty much came up with the lion's share. And then I spent the next, uh, the next uh, several hours writing up a, a preliminary script. Brilliant, brilliant. So where do you study and what, what do you study? Uh, I study uh, media production at Oxford Brooks. Fantastic. Excellent. Cool. So, okay, so within this particular film, it's a, a punchy story. It's very, very good. How was the production process? Was it pretty easy to put everything together? Did everything fit into place perfectly or um, how did it go? No. <laughs> okay. So uh, how did it work? Um, basically everything that could go wrong did. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, you know, pretty much on the first day of filming, I uh, was supposed to sort of get everyone, everyone together and have all the rental gear. Mm -hmm. And because um, we sort of, um, not hired, but we borrowed the, the equipment through the university. Yeah. And we're all at the first location. And um, I got a call sort of saying, uh, Jen, do you know that the, the, the office closes at f f four on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Okay. So, uh, but the, uh, luckily at the time, I actually had my uh, a camera equipment, cause, well, just a still camera, but mm. DLSLR, which the entire film was, uh, was filmed on okay. that camera then. And um, so, so yeah, I had my, cam uh, my camera, which is still a very high, high quality one. And Brilliant. then uh, Danny also had like a soundboard. So pretty yeah. much managed to, to throw everything together from various stuff we actually had lying around. I also had some light stuff, which actually got broken on the second day, right when we start about to start filming. <laughs> And um, even on the first day of filming, we actually decided to throw all that away because um, the manager at the pub at the time decided he wouldn't let us, uh, he would, didn't want to turn down the new music, so we oh. had to redo it in, in the Rhineman and instead. I said. see, okay. So how long did it take to actually shoot all of the scenes? We managed to get the whole thing done, I think, between fri uh, Friday and Monday. Okay. And, but it was so much hassle. Oh, but it it was done in the end yeah. and finished. And, it was, and we're really proud of the results. Brilliant, brilliant. And what was it about narrating to camera that, uh, why did you use that particular device? Um, I just think it's interesting. I just, um, think when I'm sort of thinking of ideas, I sort of run the whole thing through in my head, sort of day, daydream a lot, and that sort of... So is it almost kind of like an, an internal monologue whilst you're writing? Yeah, pretty okay. much. And I just thought it might be a lot more interesting uh, simply to have the, guy, you know, the main character talk, talking as an internal monologue. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, within yourself, you're, you're more of a writer? Would that be accurate? Um, or what is, which area of film do you enjoy? the most? If I were to say, it would probably be the actual cinematography. Okay. Because uh, I'm, like I said, I do photog photo still photography first, yeah. and then I sort of came to film. Okay. And um, I just like having artistic shots. Brilliant. Okay. And just out of interest, which, which camera was it that you actually used in the end? It was a Nikon D300S. Ah, okay. Yeah. And have you, um, have you heard about the progression of a lot of filmmakers now using high-definition SLR cameras? Yeah with their work. How, how did you find using that style camera instead of a usual camcorder style camera? Well, actually, um, the camcorder, sorry, the, sorry, the uh, camera that we use, my camera, was actually more high, high, quality, the high quality than the ones we were given oh, so they okay. to be used. So it was actually fine to be, to, I mean, obviously there's a few problems with uh, just trying to get all the formats, everything right. Yeah. It's because we were supposed to have like a roll list because it's part of the assignment. Absolutely. But, uh, it still came out fine. Great. Very great. Better than fine. Okay. Um, within the production process, within this, obviously it doesn't always work out according to plan, but 
from what you've actually learned so far, what kind of advice would you give to someone who is actually preparing their next film now? You've done it now. You've, you've gone through the rigmarole of, of writing it, of casting it, of actually shooting, editing it, all of these things. Um, if you could actually give yourself, when you first started, a few bits of advice, what would you say? Get there earlier. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, don't freak out, pretty much. Okay. Uh, uh, because it can get pretty stressful and everything does go wrong. But um, it, even if things can go wrong, it mm. can still come together to be brilliant, which it did. Wonderful. Okay. And now, I guess, the future. You're, you're on this course. Mm -hmm. you're, you're making films. You're writing scripts. You're getting into the thick of it. You're meeting some fantastic filmmakers uh, out here today. What would you like to do? Is there, is there a particular direction? So it's, it's more the cinematography, or would you like to work within film or TV? What do you fancy trying? I think for the time being, we're going to go more uh, still with short films. Okay. Um, I have a few ideas which I've been throwing around. Actually, we managed to throw one together in the car <laughs> last night. Brilliant. You know, we're trying to think about different things. And um, we will probably uh, continue along the lines of short films. I'm very eager to work with the, the group we had at the time because Brilliant. it was a fantastic group. Okay, great. And um, I guess if there were any details that would really help you as a filmmaker, so I guess would it be a different cast? Would it be better equipment? Would it be money? If there was something that you would need to ask, ask for to actually help your situation, what would it be? Not sure, actually. Um, I think it would probably be funding, because having the additional funding would definitely be useful, because okay. then, then we can perhaps hire uh, more I mean, lighting. I, think, I know that's one of the issues on, on the film, was that mm. um, we didn't have sufficient lighting in certain areas. Okay. Um, one, because, like I said, a couple of them broke. Yeah. But um, I think if we had more equipment and various things, it would definitely help a lot. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Jennifer Murray, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Jennifer. <laughs>